Man, that would have been pretty bad there. Almost recorded, uh, or started recording without pressing the record button. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the vlog. So I'm just right now, I'm just uh, starting to pack from the, the big trip to Japan. And uh, I'm going uh, semi-solo this time, uh, no wife this time. So I have to plan everything on my own. And of course, normally I don't do it, I usually just wing it. But uh, because we're going to Japan and it's a big trip, I have a list of things to do and things to see and things to eat and just, I want to just share with you guys. I kind of want to be like somewhat prepared. Normally I'm not prepared. My wife does everything for me and kudos to her for doing that. But here's uh, some of the lists to do. HKS, Tokyo also on, of course, uh, Mount Fuji. We're going to hit up, up garage, maybe um, Spoon, Mines, Amori Factory, just, uh, this is a list goes on and on you guys. I've been there before and I missed out on a few things and of course I didn't vlog that at that time. So I'm gonna bring you guys along and share. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited you guys. For me to pack, I normally travel pretty light. All my equipment is in this little cube here. So I'm gonna transfer all this into this somewhat bigger bag, but it's just, uh, it's just as small you guys. So what I plan is, I'm gonna carry that and a, and a, and a carry-on, but on the way there, I'm gonna put a carry-on into my check luggage. That way, on the way back, I do plan on having a lot of car parts, you guys. Wow. Yeah, car parts and some other stuff too, so. Because of this trip, I've just been thinking about it and packing and, and you know what, I, I'm gonna share with you guys or do a recap of what I did last year. And uh, I achieved quite a bit, I think. Quite happy with what, what we did. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. We'll see you guys in Japan. Guys, this is SEMA 2022. <laughs> okay, one more time, one more time. All right, guys. So, all right, guys. The te all right, guys. So the Tesla Model S is not cut out for Canadian. Wi First thing I thought is like, in an emergency maneuver, you're gonna. You, it, it's, it's like, it's 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 so weird, you guys. It's just, it doesn't feel natural. You see my hand? You see my hand? Oh, it smells so nice, you guys. All right, so we're gonna charge it for the first time, you guys. Let's see uh, if it works. Blue. There you go. So we're trying to roll the window up now, and look what it does. <laughs> Whoa, you, do you know how to close the door? Fuck that. You don't know how to roll the window. Need a refund, bro. <laughs> Pretty, pretty easy, pretty easy guys, just goes right in. I'm pretty sure, uh, yeah, I like this one. This is very nice, you guys. Small little filters. The uh, radium, the radium engineering fuel basket. Okay, hold on, let me get a focus here. Okay, now we're gonna drop the bigger one. Yep. Whoa! Okay, that is that. Okay, that's no good, you guys. It clearly went right through. This this battery's like light, yo. Light, very light, you guys. Very. Honestly, I can challenge people like to get their lead acid battery and do this, you guys, ten times. A group. Group four. Group 35, challenge them. Unless there is some like some kind of muscle man. I highly doubt it. So we're at this special location, you guys, where people line up down the block just to get this petrol for cheap. And it's, it's bonkers, you guys. They save like 20 cents and they congregate here as like, this place is called Costco, you guys. And look at them all line up. Bam! You guys, this is sick.
Man, you guys, coffee in the morning, no good, you guys. <laughs> All right, so after warming up the engine to 80 degrees, um, I realized I saw a puddle in the back of the vehicle and not good, guys. It was coming from the heat exchanger and it was just seeping a little bit in. Not good. I was wondering like, what the hell's going on? Like I, I tighten up and everything. And then I realized I was too busy worrying about the gasket here and I forgot yeah, course, these two O-rings. <sighs> what a pain in the ass, you guys. And of course, it just had to be the hardest part of the install. It's so tight back there, you guys. Check this out, you guys. HKS transmission oil cooler. One of the very well put together kits, you guys. I totally installed it, it's all finished. <laughs> Give it some respect. Give it some respect. It won't fall? Look at that, you guys. Guys. Nice. Alright, it's my buddy Richie, guys. Just, uh... <laughs> okay. Oh, you got kind of new bolts, too, eh? So they gave us the, um, I think these are. Uh, yeah. Sick. Yeah, that's pretty sick, man. Pretty sick, eh? Yeah, it's awesome. I figured I. I so last time we took Marco's car to Calgary, I was wondering why he didn't turn the heat on. Because I knew he didn't have AC, right? And I was kind of a little, I was, I was a little on the cold side. And I was wondering why this guy is like not turning on the heat. And of course, he's Mexican too. And I'm like, if I'm cold, I'm like, why the hell is this guy not cold? He's not, he doesn't have a heater in this car. This car has no heat. Crazy, eh? Should we be a bunch of pigs? Huh? Should we rev it up one time for that? Yes, if you want to. Okay, okay let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> We're so bad, eh, you guys? I know. You're so bad, man. <laughs> Look at her. Security. Security. <laughs> man, security's coming by to go get him, guys. Yes. Sir. Dude, did you uh, did you try? Did you try that? This now? is the stuff right here. <laughs> Holy crap! And I actually, I like took him. I was like, oh, we got donuts, and then I like bit into it, and I was like, wait, this doesn't taste like normal donuts. So I was like. This is what he was talking about last night. And I was like, man's lived up to his word. Dude, I couldn't be any more thankful. All right, Charles. I think we need a tour. Yeah. He's this, been kind of going through the tour. <laughs> this place is so small. I don't even need... How? One, one wide angle lens will just cover the whole car. And then you're done. Damn, this is the worst that could ever happen to a car at a car show, you guys. Leaving the car show and we got hit. Poor guy. Some stuff is just uh, you can't replace, you know. Ooh. Got rear-ended. Excuse me. I'm looking uh, for a YouTuber that lives around here. Do you know where he lives? You come to the right place, my friend. <laughs> See that? That looks like a that looks like a YouTuber crib. How you doing, Jack? Good. Good.
Hey. Of course, cam camera eats first, you guys. Camera eats first, eh? All for the Instagram. <laughs> Oh my god. It goes really well. Hey man, talk. So good. Check out the scene you guys. This is the whiny road. <laughs> Dad, you have so many cars behind you. Let's go. Did you give her the ring yet? Give her the ring. <laughs> oh my god. This guy's just, she, they, thought you were, they thought you were lame. Yeah, probably. The guy, the guy ignored you. The girl smiled. He's so mad. <laughs> Imagine he is going to tonight. Now she's like, oh, he's so... You didn't even look. He's so mad. Ring. He's so mad. <laughs> I look back. Guys, what does the carbon fiber skinning? Yeah. So I took out my, my door handle. Yeah, I saw top, that in your Instagram. The right? trim, the shift knob, and then D brick to the guy, and he's gonna do some carbon fiber skin. Okay. So it's one of the very rare ones that uh, you uh, you see. Normally, they're not really done up; they're just pretty much stock yeah. as a Nismo form. Uh -huh. But Kid is you know, one of the very rare guys that actually. He actually tracks it and he drives it. Yes. And it's pretty awesome, you guys. And it's, uh, yeah, you can tell there's some wear and tear on it. Yeah. But it's because he tracks it and he drives it. Yeah. And it's kind of cool. I, you know, I follow him on Instagram and everything. And to see it in person is actually, it's, it's pretty skill, pretty cool. Yeah. No, I didn't want to go too fast, just in case I pull something and then didn't, didn't stop it in time. when you said it was loud. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's almost like he revved it on startup, but I know that's the car. That's just how it is. Life of a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I told you hold the camera and the guy fucking recording. Did you get it? Yeah, I fucking recording, man. Oh, Christ. You guys are not supposed to see that. <laughs> oh, man, what the hell, eh? Hey? I Man, I'm telling you, this vlog is really. Oh. 
not the vlog, but this install is just really pissing me off, you guys. This is like, man, this is the stuff that you guys don't see on other vlogs. Oh. How long have you been waiting here for this uh, pin? Ah, uh, every 30 minutes. Every 30 minutes, eh? This guy can, got can we show? Can we show them? Yeah, show can we show them your, uh, oh, yeah. all the pins? How long? You've been here for like four hours, right? Two hours. Two hours. <laughs> Look at the dedication, you guys. It's so, so worth it. I like this one the most, eh? This one's yeah, nice. that one's awesome. That one's nice. Cup and fiber. Yeah? <laughs> Cup and fiber. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I see. Cup and fiber? <laughs> I knew like I knew right away this thing is gonna be like fat it's gonna be like it, it caught me right away and that's how it's, it was love at first sight when I saw it was the fender flares you guys and the wheel arches they're, they're so wide like just imagine like if you drop this thing if you lowered it this thing is gonna be it's like it's ah oh, it's gonna be so fat you guys and what do you expect? It's a Honda, you guys. Here you go. Open it. Oh, you're covering your face. You're covering your face with the okay, thing. Just, just. All right, guys. We're live at SEMA 2022. That's a take. <laughs> 